Welcome to Mobile DevOps Summit. I'm Barnabas Biermacher, CEO of Bitrise. I'm extremely happy to have you here, and I'm really looking forward to all of these amazing talks that wouldn't have happened without our amazing community and without the speakers that you're going to hear about in the next couple of hours. We're going to be talking about the best practices of mobile DevOps, ranging through building, testing, releasing, and monitoring. We are going to be jumping into CI-CD infrastructure and we'll be talking about collaboration. All of these talks will add up to a total of 56 hours of amazing content that will help you to deep dive into the mobile DevOps journey. Mobile DevOps comes with their unique, specific use cases that are fully different than normal DevOps. Normal generic DevOps is already figured out and well utilized by all the different product teams out there. But most of the mobile first teams are just getting into mobile DevOps and learning about how to do this the best way. And we are going to be talking about these specific use cases that will help you to deep dive into these topics. Mobile as a platform is growing rapidly. There's a 30% increase in consumer spend just in mobile in 2021. Additionally, according to data.ai, you're spending an average 4.8 hours just watching your phone per day. This totally adds up to a net two full months in a year. Companies figured out that mobile is the best platform to create a customized experience for their users, and they're creating more and more push toward that platform. Mobile is not just mobile anymore. We are jumping into application development. Thanks to Apple Silicon, the code that you write to your handheld device is running on your iPhones, iPads, Apple TVs, and even on macOS. And with Flutter, you can go from mobile development to desktop and up to the web. Additionally, Microsoft is supporting natively Android apps running in Windows. This all means that we are not just talking about mobile application development, we are talking about app development that are changing how companies are thinking about their customers. While mobile as a platform is growing, the complexity is also growing with it. Apple and Google are owning all the ecosystem, and it depends on them how they're actually creating these rules. And you, as a developer, need to instantly apply all of these changes to your code base. Additionally, developers are facing a huge pressure on creating faultless releases week by week. Creating a faulty release can harm your business, and you can lose a huge chunk of your customers. So utilizing all of these best practices will help you to retain and grow your customer base. Mobile DevOps is becoming crucial for all of these businesses to make sure that they are successful. Because of that, we run our own Mobile DevOps performance, productivity, and maturity assessment to understand how all the different companies are doing. From all of these learnings, we realize that there is a huge gap between companies. Some companies are just jumping into figuring out what mobile DevOps is, and they're extremely way behind on the best practices, while others are spending a huge amount of time and money to lead a whole pack. Our assessment is going through the life cycles of building, testing, releasing, monitoring, and collaboration, and it's assessing the companies according to these different segments. As a company is maturing, they are jumping into more and more mature use cases. And not so mature mobile first company is looking into simply just running the builds, running a couple of tests, and releasing whenever they have a new feature. More mature companies are jumping into unit testing and later on UI testing, and doing weekly or even multiple times in a week releases to the App Store to make sure that they have a constant flow of amazing updates going to the customers. Utilizing monitoring capabilities and in-app support will help you understand how the application is actually working in the hands of your users. And with that, you can really quickly release new fixes and features that will help them to thrive in the app. Companies adopting more frequent releases will help them fight bugs in the application. This will help better customer engagement and higher ratings in the App Store. Bitrise was started as a CI-CD service. The biggest problem that we wanted to solve is continuous integration and delivery focusing on mobile development. We run all of these service. We heard what's working and what is not working. We want to help you to go through this mobile development journey, and we want to create the best platform to actually help you achieve this goal. 
What we are building in the next years will help you to adopt mobile first use cases in your development. We started fixing the gaps with our CI CD product, purely focusing on the mobile need across building, testing, and releasing. But now we want to jump into solving the whole DevOps lifecycle for our customers, focusing into app development. We are creating more and more point solutions that will help you to fight all of these issues and to create a mobile first way of solving every issue ahead of you. We are at the front row seat to understand all of these issues. We are used by the best mobile first companies and we are seeing how they are solving their mobile DevOps needs. Learning from all of their practices, we want to productize this and give you a solution that actually helps you to grow in the mobile DevOps journey. There are three big segments that we would like to focus on in the next years that are in the building, releasing, and monitoring space. With building, the biggest issue is how you can shrink the feedback loop, how you can get back all the necessary information as soon as possible so you know whether it's working or whether you have any issues and you need to jump in and fix it. As you're growing, you're adding more and more builds, you're adding more and more tests to make sure that you're actually covering all the use cases in your application. Utilizing all of these learnings, with advanced caching, we are focusing into reducing the feedback loop. We are super excited to announce the Flare.build acquisition. Flare created an amazing solution to realize the full potential of the Bazel system. Their technology helps the mobile-first companies out there to build quickly, iteratively, and to reduce the feedback cycle as much as possible. But the most interesting part here is the technology beneath. FlareBuild is the first company outside of Google to provide the backend services needed to realize the full potential of the Bazel build system. Bazel has seen rapid adoption among mobile-first companies including Reddit, Tinder, Lyft, and Uber, but maximizing its full potential remains challenging. Building and operationalizing Bazel's backend services, which include shared build cache and distributed builds, remains a significant task even after a successful migration to Bazel. The acquisition of Flare puts Bitrise in the position to solve the multi-billion dollar problem of Bazel adoption by bringing together the individual components of Bazel into a single integrated offering. In addition to improving developer experience, it increases engineering productivity and returns on investment. Integration of Flare, Cache Engine, in Bitrise platform will bring benefits not only to Bazel users, but also to mobile teams using other build tools such as Gradle, Twist, and Xcode. By adopting Flare Build's advanced caching and CDN technology to these other tools, Bitrise user will have the ability to accelerate the feedback loops, iterate faster, and multiply their app build performance by up to 10x. Bazel has made a major impact in this area for Google and other industry leaders, but has remained out of the reach for the majority of engineering teams. With Flare Build as a new adoption to the Bitrise platform, we are providing access to the performance gains that Bazel users expect without the drastic cost usually associated with the powerful but complex tool. The other focus point for us is release management. Developer teams are spending countless hours to figure out what is the best way to release applications and how to collaborate with all the different stakeholders. We are creating a solution that helps you automate all of this. Upon talking to our customers, we realize that this is the biggest pain point of scaling teams, while it holds the biggest impact of actually creating and releasing amazing applications that increases user engagement. We want to centralize app release processes for your team, whether you're doing this alone or whether you have a dedicated person responsible for application releases. With creating release management close to ICICD point solution, we help you take the next step and automate the process. You will be able to orchestrate releases, plan features, validate how all of these features readiness are in your application, approve the whole process, and automate getting the application into the hands of the testers and to the App Store automatically. We are working hard on this new product and we want to have it in front of you by Q1 2023. So really looking forward to have all of your feedback on it.
And our third focus point is insight. We created this product to unblock developers and help them to move forward quickly. This product is already out and we are utilizing all the amazing mobile-first data that we learn from our customers. We are creating a visual way of looking at your mobile data to help you understand how you're developing, how you're building, how you're testing and how you're releasing, and to help you understand where you need to improve and where you need to spend your time and money to be better. In the recent months, we are working on additional features to help you have a better understanding across the full DevOps lifecycle by giving you idea what's happening in your builds, tests, releases, and even in your pull requests. With all of these data, we can help you to surface all the different issues that needs your attention, so you understand where to spend your time and where to spend your money. We will be releasing the new features in Insight in this winter, so you can all get your hands on it and deep dive into your data to understand how to scale better. Learning from all of these amazing companies and how they are creating mobile DevOps best practices, we want to gather all of this information and create a storefront of recipes for you so you can all jump into and utilize them to your use cases. I'm super excited that we are releasing storefront and recipes in H2 2023. With Storefront and Recipes, we learn from the best mobile-first companies and how they're adopting mobile DevOps, and we're using their curated learnings to help you adopt and scale in the mobile DevOps journey. This will mean that you can utilize their learnings and integrate it into your workflows to really quickly iterate through how you're building, testing, releasing your applications. From the beginning, our vision was to help mobile-first companies to scale better. At the beginning, we created an amazing CI CD service, but we are bringing this idea forward and we are creating additional point solutions for you to help you across the full mobile DevOps journey. We talked about release management, we talked about Flare, we talked about Insight, and we're utilizing all of this to create a unified platform for you that you can use depending on your mobile maturity. And in the platform, we're going to help you scale and get to a better state to create an amazing application for your users and with that to drive adoption. As part of this future vision, I'm super excited to have all of these amazing talks ahead of us. So please enjoy and looking forward to going through with all of them together. See you there.